is all nothing. Thank you, Ms. Ware. And it is present. carry nothing out. The Lord gave. God, whom I shall see for myself. And my eyes shall behold and not another. may be seated. Honoring the life of Mrs. Laura Jurgen on this 21st day of May, this Friday, 2021, the hour of noon here at the Watkins Garrison Woods Mortuary, 1011 Augusta Street, Greenville, South Carolina. Reverend Dr. John H. Corbett, eulogist, interim pastor of Springfield Baptist Church. There has been a program outlined, yours truly, the Reverend Roger Goglesby presiding of a hymn, Oh How I Love Jesus, followed by a scripture reading, Old Testament, 23rd Psalm by Bishop Samuel Zimmerman, and New Testament, 1 Thessalonians 4:13 through 18, Reverend James Davis, Prayer of Comfort, of a hymn, It Is Well, Remarks by Dr. Grady Jurgen Jr., family and grandchildren. We have a selection by Mrs. Helen Anderson, 
Precious Lord, the words of comfort by Reverend Dr. John H. Corbett, followed by recessional, I'm free. Version and it reads in this manner The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures, He leadeth me beside the still waters, He restoreth my soul, He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my Amen. cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The word of the Lord for the people of the Lord. Grace and peace to you.
to the Jurgens family, Miss Jurgens was a light that shined in our neighborhood. We'll be reading the New Testament scripture coming from 1 Thessalonians beginning at the 13th verse of the 4th chapter. And it reads, But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who are or have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. Yes, yes. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord uh -huh. will by no means, no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the air, in the cloud, to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always, forever, everlasting, always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. God bless you. Thank God you. keep you. Amen. 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 If you bow your heads with us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallow would be thine holy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Gracious God, now that as family and friends have come together to show their last respects. We pray, Lord, that as our memories flow back and remember the times, we pray, Lord, that you should comfort our, our hearts, strengthen us where we weak, build us up where we're torn down. Because, Lord, we realize there will be days, Father, that we shall remember. And in remembering, Father, we remember that you've plucked through your garden and chosen another one of your beautiful flowers. But Lord, as she still lives within our hearts, let us never forget, but let us hold on to the memories until that day, Father, in which you call us as well. We ask, Lord, now that you bless your man servant who's going to stand to and give an encouraging word. Yeah. Dip him down, Father, into a well of wisdom. Bring him up, Father, that your light shall be seen within him. Lord, that when we leave this place, Lord, we shall remember yeah. that we've been in thine presence. Yeah. So, Father, we say thank you now for the life that has been well lived. 
And we say thank you, Father, for what you're doing right now. For it's in the precious name of Jesus we humbly pray. And all the saints of God say amen. Amen.
to Pastor Corbett, to the ministers and pastors who share this pulpit on this day, to the members of the Springfield Baptist Church, and all of you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I greet you in the presence and in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who does all things well. On behalf of the Jurgen and Wilson family, I want to say thank you to Springfield and the Friends of Springfield for opening your arms wide and your hearts wide to Laura Wilson Jurgen in your midst. If you read the obituary, you can see that she was very much involved in the life of Springfield. That she was a hard worker, a dedicated person, who did the best she could to do all things well. We want to thank you for how you supported her. We want to thank you for how you encouraged her and prayed for her. And when the time came that she could no longer be at home and she was in nursing homes, you called her. You sent cards to her. You prayed for her, which gave her strength. And we want to thank you for that kind of care. For God was using her on this time that she gave to her on this earth. 100 years is a long time. And God blessed her to live 100 years. And that is worthy of praise. There is a passage of scripture, and I will be through. There is a passage of scripture in the Gospel of Mark. And it concerns a meal that takes place in the house of Simon. I believe that Jesus was there because those in the house, or the family of Simon, had him there to celebrate the healing that he had done for Simon. While they were sitting around the table, an unknown woman came into their midst. She walked to the table, she found out where Jesus was, and she took a vask, a flask, of the pure nord of oil, and she anointed Jesus. Those that were sitting around objected, and they raised questions. Jesus said, leave her alone. She's done what she could for me. Last week, a few days ago, our mother and our grandmother was approached by Jesus. And Jesus said to death, leave her alone. She's done a good thing for me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Derek Wilson, uh, son of Nathaniel Wilson, grandson to Miss Laura Jurgen, and I want to make a, a few comments. Um, no one knows the hurt we feel so deep inside our hearts. Mm -hmm. The pain of someone gone away, the hurt and the emptiness is more than it should seem. The space inside our heart cannot be filled. No one can take Grandma Laura's place. With only pictures and memories left. So remember this story of a loved one. And remember to love all those that are dear to you. 
with all your heart, for that love may not last forever. Amen. And you will need those memories when your loved one is gone. Amen. 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 Hi, y'all. I'm, uh, I'm Grandma Laura's uh, great-grandchild, Daryl. I go by Justin. Uh, my family calls me Justin. Um, and the grandson to Gene Wilson and Nathaniel Wilson. Uh, Grandma Laura asked me to read a poem. I can't even tell you how many years ago now, and Mima just reminded me the other day. Um, but it's called Miss Me But Let Me Go. When I come to the end of the crossroad and the sun has set for me, I want no rights in a gloom-filled room, so why cry for a soul free? Miss me a little, but not too long, and not with your head bowed low. Remember the love that we once shared. Miss me, but let me go. For this is a journey we must all take, and each must go alone. Thank you. It's all a part of the master's plan, a step on the road to home. When you're lonely and sick at heart, go to the friends we know. Bury your sorrows in doing good deeds. Miss me, but let me go. Resolutions. Second Timothy chapter four, verse six to eight says, I've fought a good fight. I've finished my course. I've kept the faith. Therefore, a crown of life awaits me. To Dr. Grady A. Jurgen, Minister Patricia Jurgen and family, on behalf of the entire membership of the New Commandment Baptist family, I extend our heartfelt sympathies to you and the family during the transition of your beloved mother, Mrs. Laura Jurgen. We are reminded that those who walk with the Lord while living shall not tarry, but shall be led gently into a land of peaceful eternity. Mother Jurgen is now with our Lord, Jesus Christ, sitting at the welcome table, feasting on milk and honey. And when she is done, she will take a stroll down those streets of gold to the mansion that is promised to her. We know you will miss her, phys her physical presence, but please know that she will forever dwell in your hearts and, and fond memories. We can only imagine the blessing she was to you, her family as well as the many lives she has touched with much joy during her time here on earth. She has completed her assignment and is now resting in her peace. We are praying as you mourn such a great loss. May the outpouring of love that you are receiving during a time of such as this serve as this serve as a reminder of how much Mother Jurgen has loved by all who was loved by all who knew her. With our Christian love, Dr. Stephen E. Tucker, Senior Pastor, First Lady Roberta R. Tucker, and the New Commandment Baptist Family Church. Church resolution. from the City Temple, Baltimore Baptist. To our beloved pastor and his family, from the home going of his beloved mother, Mrs. Laura Wilson Jurgen, on behalf of the leadership of the congregation of the City of Temple of Baltimore Baptist Church, I wish to extend our sincere condolences upon the passing of your beloved mother, Mrs. Laura Jurgen, Wilson Jurgen. We have seen you come to comfort and aid us so many times in the past as you have served so faithful in your ministry, called to pastor this congregation. So at this time of loss, we want to extend our love and comfort to you and your family. Whereas 
Mrs. Laura Wilson Jurgen, is the mother of our beloved pastor, Reverend Dr. Grady A. Jurgen Jr. Whereas Mrs. Laura Wilson Jurgen is loved and revered by the members of the City Temple of Baltimore Baptist. Whereas we thank God for the life of this great woman of God who has blessed her family and this earth with her presence for one for 100 beautiful years. Whereas we want our pastor and family to remember that even at this hour, God is with each of you. Therefore, be it resolved that we want our pastor and his family to know that the officers and members of this church stand in solidarity with you during this hour of sorrow. Be it further resolved that the officers and members of this church will continue to keep you in love and pray with you and for you and as you walk through this, the valley and the shadow of death. May God bless you and keep each of you in his care and that you will know that stars are the openings of heaven where the love of our beloved ones who have gone before us pours through and shines upon us to let us know they are at home, happy, and at peace. In love and condolences, Deacon Raquel B. Smith, Deaconette Ministry Chairperson. To the Reverend Grady Jurgen and family, pastors, officers, and members of the Providence Baptist Church were saddened to hear of the passing of your mother, who reached a century in her journey and now has graduated into eternity where she can exchange her cross for a crown. We feel that you already know that we share your sorrow, and we hope that this brief expression in writing will help to comfort you at this time. The loss of the loved one is always a difficult and trying experience. Call upon God and he will give you needed strength. May you be comforted in the, in the knowledge that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. Our hearts and prayers are with you at this time. May God give you the courage to accept his will. We pray that God will continue to give you the strength, hope, and peace you need to carry to carry you through this experience. While we may not always understand his will, we know that he doeth all things well. When you get weak or weary, we commend you to lean upon the everlasting arms of Jesus, who can and will heal all sorrows. We will continue to keep you in our prayers, knowing that God is all-powerful. Very sincerely yours, Providence Baptist Church to Reverend Dr. Douglas E. Summers, pastor. And then we have a card. So our love and prayers are with you. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Matthew 5, 4. Thinking of you in the times of loss and asking God to tenderly care for your deepest needs with heartfelt sympathy. Stephen and Roberta Tucker. Amen. Amen. Dr. Jurgen and um, the City Temple family and the Jurgen family, some of you all may remember we did an exchange service. But Dr. Jurgen brought um, his army of people that <laughs> came down here to Greenville to Springfield. And we then were so wonderfully uh, received when we came up to City Temple. Um, I'm Terry Manigault, the music director of Springfield, and just want you all to know you are indeed in our prayers. That, you know, we always say earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal, but we know you need to take the time to do that. Our sister, Miss Helen Anderson, is going to come now and bless you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. One more time. Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is a celebration. Yes. A saint has gone home to reward. Miss Jurgen 
sort of took the place of my mama. They were friends. They were good friends. My mother passed a long time ago. And I sort of took hold to Miss Jurgen's hand. And she received it with her usual love. I'm going to miss her. I've missed her being with during the pandemic when I couldn't go see her. But I tried to send her cards to cheer her day because she was such a lady of love. I've had some health issues myself, not young as I used to be. And when Dr. Corbett called me and said that it had been requested that I sing. I was like, Dr. Corbett, have you heard me lately? <laughs> it's been a minute. And with some health issues, my voice has sort of changed. But a friend said something to me the other day. She said, the Holy Spirit is singing for you, baby. Amen. So I'm going to do my best. If this is something she wanted me to do, I would never have said no if I had to speak these words. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I am weak, and I am worn through
precious Lord, and lead me on. Precious Lord, take my hand. Woo, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Lead me on. And let me stand, for I am tired, I am weak, I am worn through the storm, through the night. Lead Take my hand, precious Lord, and lead, and lead, and lead me home. She's home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. church say amen. amen and praise the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Pastor Oglesby, for presiding for us today. God bless you and the other ministers on the platform and the yes. congregation, the, this family, this, this wonderful family. God bless you and God keep us our prayer. Amen. Mm -hmm. Always glad to see Dr. Wade Jurgen Jr. Amen. We certainly recall that great trip we made to Baltimore some years ago. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your kindness. Yeah. From the uh, second chapter of uh, uh, Revelation, I want to read verse 8 through 10 of Revelation 2. And to the angel of the church at Smyrna write, these things saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. Yeah. I know thou works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which said they are Jews, and not but are of the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you in a prison that ye may be tried, ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, I will give you a crown of life. Today, we gather to celebrate a life yeah. of a faithful 
Christian woman, Miss Lara Jurgen. Several months ago, the entire Springfield family had a virtual birthday celebration for Miss Jurgen's 100th birthday. We all joined in that virtual celebration. Very few people lived that long. Miss Jurgen was a faithful member of Springfield Church. She was a deaconess. She attended Sunday school. She was part of the Retirees Fellowship and the Builders Club. She traveled with the, uh, those who were uh, retired on our trips. Ms. Jurgen supported the church with her presence, her prayers, her goodwill, and her, her tithes and offering. I remember, my mind goes back like it was yesterday, when I first came to Greenville some years ago, uh, Mrs. Jurgen and Deacon Grady Jurgen Sr. invited me to their home, my wife and I to their home, and she fixed a good meal for us. She could cook, amen. Yeah, yeah. Miss Jurgen was a good cook. She knew how to fry chicken, yeah, amen. She knew. <laughs> the preacher loves fried chicken. After the meal, I remember Deacon Jurgen took me in his car and took me to several families to meet the members of of the Springfield family. I'll never forget that, that, that courtesy from the Jurgens. Uh, Miss Jurgen loved me and I loved her. She loved my wife. She loved our children, our grandchildren. She was a family friend. We remember her dearly. One word that sums up her life is the word faithful. Mm-hmm. Faithful. She was faithful to God and faithful to the church, faithful to her family, and faithful to the community in which she lived. Mr. Webster says to be faithful is to be steady and serious and loyal. To be faithful is to be reliable and trustworthy. To be faithful is to be steady and, 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 and dependable on the Lord. Uh-huh. Well, the, the word of God tells us to be faithful. faithful. In the book of uh, Revelation, Jesus to John writes a letter to the church, to the seven churches of, of Asia. In the second chapter of, of this book, Jesus tells the Christians at Smyrna to be faithful. Yeah. Look what it says. To the church at Smyrna. The church at Smyrna write these things, says the first and the last which was dead and alive. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, mm-hmm. but thou art rich. Mm-hmm. And I know the blasphemy of them which said they are Jews, which are not, but the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you. In prison that ye may be tried, and ye shall be tempted. Have tribulation, but be thou faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life. Yeah. Be faithful. Yeah. He didn't say be successful. He said be faithful. Yeah. Not own house and land, but be faithful. be faithful. He didn't say get rich. He says be faithful, and I will give you a crown of life. The Christians at Smyrna were, were new Christians. They were some of the first Christians, if you please, some of the first Christians. They had been pagans. They had, had, had worshipped our gods. So Jesus tells them how to live and what to live for. Be thou faithful unto death, Jesus says. Not faithful until death, but unto death. There's a difference, you know. Yeah, yeah. I said, faithful unto death, not until death. For you see, death as we know it is not the end of things. Isn't that good yeah. news? Yeah, right. Be faithful unto death. Jesus is telling us and telling all of us, keep working. Mm-hmm. Keep your heads up. Mm-hmm. Keep on working. Keep on serving the Lord. And I will give you a crown of life. Miss Laura Jurgen took her faith seriously. 
she was not a hit and miss Christian. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. She was not a sometime Christian. She served the Lord all of the time. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. At an early age, she was baptized at Calvary Baptist Church in Chester, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. She wanted to be an elementary school teacher. She took that seriously. Amen. She, she, she prepared herself by going to Morris College and Sacramento State University to prepare herself to be an educator. She was serious about life, her career as an educator. Ms. Jurgen taught school in New Berlin, Chester, Greenville counties, and retired with honor. Praise the Lord. Yeah. She taught so many young people as an educator. Yes, she was faithful to her job, faithful to God, faithful to her career in education. She was a role model for children that she taught. I'm sure that many of those that she's taught went on to be great citizens of their communities. But she was faithful. She made the world a better place to live. Praise the Lord. Yeah. What a wonderful world we would have if all of us would be faithful to God and make life a little better. Uh, Isn't that good news? Yeah. Wherever you are, make life a little better. Praise God and make your surroundings a little better. Enlarge your territory. May God make, make this community a better place to live. Mm -hmm. God, yes, God must have loved Miss Jurgen, for she lived a long time. Yeah. God must have been pleased with her, for she stayed around for a long time. She was a woman of compassion. Mm -hmm. His letter to the, to the church at, at, at Smyrna, not only did Jesus tell them to be faithful, he said, he made a promise. He says, I will give you a crown yeah. of life. Yeah. Isn't that good news? Yeah. Yes, sir. I see. He says, in exchange for your faithfulness, I will give you a crown of life. Our, our lives are not lived in vain. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The substance of our faith in the Lord. I believe Mrs. Jurgen earned her crown. I yeah. said, I believe yeah. she earned her crown. She, she, she earned the promise. Our Lord Jesus Christ she was faithful, yes, I believe she earned her crown. Yeah. Yes, yes, like all of us, she had no doubt her ups and downs. But praise the Lord, she earned her crown. Yeah. She had challenges in life, mm -hmm. but hallelujah, hallelujah, she earned her crown. Yeah. She had sickness, mm -hmm. but praise the Lord, she didn't stop serving the Lord. She earned her crown. She was sometimes disappointed, no doubt. But praise the Lord, she earned her crown because she was faithful to God. Yeah. Be faithful. Be faithful to God. I give you a crown. I don't know about you, but I hope to, to earn my crown. Yeah. I hope I can earn my crown. Yes, Anybody here want to earn their crown? Yeah. Yeah. I've been faithful to God. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Anybody here don't know Christ? You'll accept him right now. Yeah. Working on your crown. Keep on pressing on. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yeah. For our sister in Christ. Thank yeah. you Thank for you. witness. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I said, Praise the Lord. Yeah. For Larry Hergen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Her witness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well done. Well done. well done. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Well done.